It's time for this week's unpopular opinion, and it is that your opa is flawed. And when I say your opa is flawed, I mean any of your idol, whether it's a girl, whether it's a guy, whether you're a girl or whether you're a guy. Your idol is flawed. My idols, my ultimate biases, my biases, my people that I love, they're flawed. Your people that you love, they are flawed. They are all flawed. And now before y'all start trying to come at me with all this like, any bitch think they gonna fucking play with me? I'm gonna ask that bitch to pull up. Let me explain. Every person, every person that walks this earth is flawed. It just comes with life. There are people that are better than other people that try to fix the things that are flawed about them and try to better themselves. There are people that don't. And yes, most idols fall into the category of they try to fix themselves, most. Because most of them at their core are good people. But being a good person does not mean that you're not flawed. Being a good person doesn't mean that you can't do problematic things. Being a good person doesn't mean that you don't have flaws. Being a good person doesn't mean that there aren't things that you need to work on to better yourself, okay? Every person, and that includes your idols. There's a lot of people that like to roll up and be like, my idol is flawless. You wake up flawless. And yes, Having that sort of mentality of love is great, but you know what's even better? Being able to say, my idol is flawed and I love them regardless. You know what's also an amazing thing? When your idol says, I am flawed, but I'm trying to make myself better, and then you say, maybe that's true, but you know what? I'm gonna love you anyway, because look at what you're doing to better yourself. That is a good relationship. Even if your idol is not problematic or your idol doesn't have something that's going on that is bringing the public eye to them in a possibly negative light, that doesn't mean that your idol doesn't have behaviors or traits that you might find good that somebody else finds negative because every single person has a different perspective in life. And it's kind of like some people like strawberries and some people don't like strawberries. In their eyes, they're going to be flawed, while in your eyes, they are not flawed. It's just the way that life goes. You have one trait that is seen as both positive and negative by two people, two different people. And that's just the way life is. So just because an idol might be flawed to you doesn't mean that an idol is going to be flawed to somebody else. But acknowledging the fact that something that is perfect to you or imperfect to you doesn't mean that to somebody else it means the opposite. And acknowledging that and recognizing that is the sign that, guess what? You are acknowledging and representing that there are people that have different walks and different ideas. And yes, there are some things that are categorically wrong. And I'm not talking about those things. I'm talking about little things like the way that somebody decides to rap or the way that somebody carries themselves or their stage presence or just or something about the way they think about a small topic. And I'm not talking about certain big things, but small things. You may not agree, and that may be a flaw to you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is wrong. And yes, there are things that are outright bad. And in those cases, obviously they're flawed. And there is something that needs to be done and rectified. But in many cases with idols, they are out there trying to better themselves as well, not just for a public image too. And while the public image is extremely important for idols, many of them actually just want to be better people because they are good people. And guess what? Just canceling them or berating them without trying to tell them anything doesn't help. 
Just because you don't see some of the flaws doesn't mean that your idol doesn't have those flaws. There are certain things that aren't presented to us as consumers, and there's no way for you to know about them. There might be something that is something that you consider to be not a good thing, or you think that needs to be made improved on with the way they do something that is covered and made to seem like it is not any sort of issue because they know about that shortcoming. And it is thus presented in a way so that you don't see it as a flaw because that's what idols are to the public. Idols are presented in this way that can be as flawless as possible. But I just thought I would come at you with that for a second. Just just a little food for thought for you guys today that just because your idol is flawed doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. But not accepting that your idol does have flaws, that's not good either. Let me know what you think about your idols being flawed and still loving them anyway in the comments down below. Bye.